Isaiah chapter 30 Woe to the rebellious children, declares the Lord, who carry out plans that are not mine, who form an alliance, but not by my spirit, heaping sin upon sin. They set out to go down to Egypt, without asking for my advice, to seek refuge in Pharaoh's protection, and take shelter in Egypt's shadow. But Pharaoh's protection will bring you shame, and the shelter in Egypt's shadow will be your disgrace. For Pharaoh's officials are at Zoan, and his messengers have reached Hanes. Everyone will be ashamed because of a people that cannot help them. That brings neither aid nor profit, but only shame and disgrace. The oracle concerning the beasts of the Negev, through a land of distress and anguish, where the lioness and lion live, the viper and the flying serpent, they carry their wealth on the backs of donkeys, their treasures on the humps of camels, to a people who cannot help them. Egypt's protection is useless and empty. Therefore I have called her. Rahab who just sits. Now go, write it on a tablet before them, and inscribe it on a scroll, that it may serve in the time to come, as a witness forever. For this is a rebellious people, faithless children, children who refuse to listen to the Lord's instruction, who say to the seers, Do not see, and to the prophets, Do not prophesy to us the truth. Speak to us pleasant words. Prophesy illusions. Get out of the way. Turn aside from the path. Let us hear no more about the Holy One of Israel. Therefore, this is what the Holy One of Israel says. Because you have rejected this word, and have trusted in oppression and deceit, and have relied on them, therefore this iniquity will be to you like a crack that bulges in a high wall, for which the collapse comes suddenly, in an instant. He will shatter it as one shatters a potter's jar that is broken to bits. He will not spare, so that there will not be found among its pieces a shard to take fire from a hearth, or to scoop water from a cistern. For this is what the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, says, In returning in rest you shall be saved. In quietness and trust is your strength. But you were not willing. And you said, No, for we will flee on horses. Therefore you shall flee. And we will ride on swift horses. Therefore those who pursue you will be swift. One thousand will flee at the threat of one. And you will flee at the threat of five. Until you are left. Like a flag on top of a mountain. Like a signal on a hill. Yet the Lord longs to be gracious to you, and therefore he waits on high to have compassion on you. For the Lord is a God of justice. How blessed are all those who long for him. O people in Zion, inhabitants of Jerusalem, you will weep no longer. He will surely be gracious to you at the sound of your cry. When he hears it, he will answer you. Although the Lord has given you bread of privation and water of oppression, he Your teacher will no longer hide himself, but your eyes will behold your teacher. Your ears will hear a word behind you. This is the way, walk in it. Whenever you turn to the right or to the left, you will defile your silver-plated idols and your gold-plated images. You will scatter them like menstrual cloths and say to them, Be gone! Then he will give you rain for the seed which you will sow in the ground, and bread from the yield of the ground and it will be rich and plenteous. On that day your livestock will graze in a roomy pasture. Also the oxen and the donkeys which work the ground will eat salted fodder, which has been winnowed with shovel and fork. On every lofty mountain and on every high hill there will be streams running with water on the day of the great slaughter, when the towers fall. The light of the moon will be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun will be seven times brighter, like the light of seven days. On the day the Lord binds up the fracture of his people and heals the bruise he has inflicted. Behold, the name of the Lord is coming from a remote place. Burning is his anger and dense is his smoke. His lips are filled with indignation. And his tongue is like a consuming fire. His breath is like an overflowing torrent. Which reaches to the neck. To shake the nations back and forth in a sieve of futility and there will be a bridle in the jaws of the peoples to lead them astray. 
you will have a song as in the night when you keep a festival, and gladness of heart as when one marches to the sound of the flute, to go to the mountain of the Lord, to the rock of Israel. And the Lord will cause his voice of authority to be heard, and the descending of his arm to be seen in fierce anger, and in the flame of a consuming fire, in cloudbursts, downpour, and hailstones. For at the voice of the Lord Assyria will be terrified, when he strikes with the rod, and every blow of the rod of punishment, which the Lord will lay on him, will be with the music of tambourines and lyres. And in battles brandishing weapons, he will fight them. For Topheth has long been ready. Indeed, it has been prepared for the king. He has made it deep and large. A pyre of fire with plenty of wood. The breath of the Lord, like a torrent of brimstone, sets it afire. 